It can be that close. Okay. Okay. Is this like good to top my head on? Yes. It's recording so you can just kind of say what your experiences with writer jealousy have been so have you ever felt those feelings and like how did you overcome that I think most people experience writer jealousy just because you can see everything happening around you just people that you know or you don't know people who are like similar to you or like even people who don't have books like yours and you're wondering like what you should be doing if you're doing the right thing and you're thinking like maybe I should be doing what other people do and you start to doubt yourself and it's just I feel like it's really normal and like it's, it can be really toxic but you don't want to get stuck in that place you want to be able to have people who can be a positive influence for you like the Toronto writers where it's like a, it's a good environment where we all get along and we all like support each other and that's what you really want to do as opposed to like the jealousy which can take over and just, just build a lot of self-doubt in what you're doing in your own writing. So dealing with writer jealousy, I definitely have dealt with this many times over the past like three years since I've been in the community, but it's one of those things that you just, you have to acknowledge it. It's really important to understand why you're jealous maybe, and then maybe even try to um, take that jealousy and make it a part of your determination to do better. Um, so, for example, like I'm still in the querying trench, query trench, trenches, and I, you know, sometimes when I see people post like, oh, I have an agent now, it's like, oh, like I'm so happy for you, I'm so, like I genuinely am so happy, but there's still that part of me that goes like, oh, I wish I was there too, and then it just reminds me just how much I want this when I'm feeling really down, and then I push myself just to keep like persevering and keep moving forward and you can apply that to any part of the journey like if you're in the sub, sub submissions I can't even talk um, <laughs> or if you're you know you have your book out and you and you're looking at like your sales or whatnot so it really just depends on where you are in your journey and just like knowing how to yeah just how to change it from a negative feeling to a positive one that can benefit you and your community and with all your friends. Okay, um, ooh, author jealousy. Uh, I feel like honestly the best way to deal with author jealousy if you don't have like a proper strategy is just get off of social media for a little bit. Um, it's okay to feel jealous. It's okay if like some of your friends are excelling in places that you want to excel at and you just don't know how long it's going to take. Um, just delete Twitter, delete Instagram, and just kind of give yourself time to relax. When I didn't have a book written, I wished I could be like, I was jealous of people that had books written. Um, when I wrote a book, I was jealous of people that had a coherent book, not a messy werewolf book <laughs> that people in your university writing group really hated. Um, and by your, I mean mine. Uh, they did not like it. They greatly disliked it. In their defense, it was bad. Uh, but then after that, when I like started writing very seriously and I was like, oh, I'm going to get published. And then I started querying. And then I was jealous of people that queried and got agents right away. They weren't like skulking around in the query trenches <laughs> for years uh, trying to get attention like I did. Um, it felt instant and so because it felt instant for them I was like wow I'm so jealous of this person that got an agent like a week into querying two days into querying one day into querying um, when I had my agent then I was like okay I'm jealous of people that didn't have a bunch of edits to do like I had to do uh, and then once we had our book and that the book was finished and we were on submission. I was like, I'm jealous of people whose submission is like that. I'm jealous of people that like 
get published like that. I'm jealous of people that get these huge book deals that can like obliterate all their debt and they can go off and buy this beautiful Toronto, million dollar Toronto condo. And I'm jealous of those people because <laughs> that's what I'm assuming people are doing with their money because of course the millennial like wow amazing dream is that you have no debt and you can own housing. Honestly, there hasn't even been like one aspect of my writer journey since like I started writing that didn't have, that I wasn't jealous of someone at some point. And that's wild. <laughs> like, that's so wild that like really the whole process is kind of steeped in those feelings of jealousy. And it's not like I'm like this all the time. Like I'm not sitting up in my room being like oh I'm so jealous of this person I'm so jealous of this person I'm so jealous like I'm not racked with envy and I imagine that a lot of people aren't like I don't think that you out there are like sitting at home stewing feeling jealous like for your whole life uh it's just these bouts of things that happen um I don't know if there's unicorns out there that don't get jealous like that don't get writer jealousy like that's amazing kudos to you clap 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 wonderful <laughs> but i think once once you're a person that feels jealous like you're kind of like i think you are gonna feel jealous at some point at every stage of your career i think if you get to the point where your envy for someone else's success or what they're doing with their writing is starting to shape your own writing um is starting to discourage you from writing um is starting to make you like essentially those things it's affecting your writing and it's discouraging you from writing that's really when writer jealousy is an issue that you need to <laughs> address because you shouldn't be like writing what you think someone else is doing because you're trying to chase after what they've done um you shouldn't be so overcome with like wanting someone else's shit that you don't do your shit anymore which is very elegant very eloquent eloquent <laughs> like for real <laughs> this this is some tea for real there are people out there that are jealous of other writers or other writer friends and they will start drama, they will spread rumors, they will start shit because they're so overcome with feelings of jealousy over someone else that they're actively trying to ruin what that person has cultivated. And that's like, that's messed up. Like, you don't want to be that person. Like, that's so bad for your just, your own emotional karma. Like, I, those people walking around, I'm like, how are you... Like, how are you living with yourself, essentially? Uh, how do I combat writer jealousy? Honestly, it's just like the great thing. And uh, my friend Kess said this, who you see, you've see, you seen earlier or later. I don't know how I'm going to cut this. You'll either have seen her before I talked about this or you'll see her after I'm talking about this. Um, but something she said was like, once I have a lot of writer friends, I don't really feel jealous anymore. And it's honestly like it's so super true because the more I cultivated friendships with people in the industry, um, other writers, like the feeling of happiness that I have for them succeeding is so much higher than any twins of, twinge of jealousy that I feel. Um, and it just like overpowers it i'm not saying i like feel zero jealousy because now we're friends nah but like <laughs> i'm so so happy for them and it's so much it's such a it's a, a way bigger emotion it's a way bigger emotion than any sort of envy um and i'm not like a crunchy granola person <laughs> but so i don't i'm not usually like positive thoughts always kill negative ones but like for real like that level of positivity that you feel for watching that person like win and succeed is so much more powerful than like that little twinge of jealousy that's like, I wish my book sold in like a day or whatever. <laughs> that's a really horrible voice. I might cut that. Um, which brings me into like the second thing that combats writer jealousy. Um, 
Have you ever listened to Write or Die podcast? Write or Die podcast plug. I'm going to put some information down here so you can listen. Listening, honestly, to that podcast, uh, bless Clarabelle, hearing those authors talk about stuff they've done, like, it will obliterate some jealousy for you. Like, Rena Barron, her book, um, Kingdom of Souls, um, it's coming out in 2020. I had no idea that she had worked on that book for like 10 years. No idea whatsoever. So from my perspective, I was like, she went on pitch wars, bang, bang, start agent, bang, bang, two giant like series book deals. Wow, that's amazing. I could never do that. <laughs> I'm so unqualified for that. And like, that's the knee jerk reaction. Um, and I listened to a ride or die episode and she was like, I've been working on that book for 10 years. That's wild. <laughs> the truth is, truth is that everybody gets to their own stage through their own time. And you really can't know what someone else has done to get to that point that you think is unreachable for yourself that causes that feeling of jealousy. Because that's really, I think, in my personal opinion, that's what jealousy is. It's not just that you want what that person has, it's that somehow internally you feel like you are never going to achieve that. Because if you felt like, if you were like, okay, cool, whatever, they got a deal, my come up's coming any second now, why would you be jealous, right? Like the jealousy, the part of it is that voice in yourself that says, look at what they have, that's amazing, I will never achieve that myself. Why in this video I showed you those other people who are my writer friends um, was not just because they're like super cool, which they are, and super awesome to help me, which definitely <laughs> thank you so much for helping me with my new YouTube channel. Um, but the reason I showed those other writers is to show you like, like I said, like at every stage of writing, you're gonna have some sort of jealousy. You're still gonna have the experience of that. You're gonna very viscerally remember <laughs> your experiences with jealousy if you're not having them at the time. Um, and so that's why it's so important to think about how you're gonna <laughs> combat that and how you're gonna fight against that because it, you can't be thinking, oh, as soon as I have an agent, I'm never gonna feel jealous about people have a, I'm never gonna feel jealous of other writers because now I got an agent. Or as soon as I have a book deal, I'm never gonna feel jealous of other people with book deals because I got a book deal. Um, as soon as I have a second book deal, I'm never gonna feel jealous of other people. As soon as I'm on the New York Times bestseller list, I'm never gonna feel jealous of. If you're a person that feels jealousy, I, it's, it's, you know, a life sentence. Like probably you're always gonna feel it at varying degrees. And so honestly, it's better to just deal with it and deal with it in like a healthy way. Um, so believe in yourself, believe in yourself that you can do it. Maybe you never can, I don't know, <laughs> I'm a realist. But if you don't believe in yourself and believe in your ability to go after your dreams, you'll never do it. Like you just won't. Like if you think I'm never gonna get published, you're never gonna try to get published because what would be the point? Thanks for watching this video about writer jealousy. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up. Um, if you've had an experience with writer jealousy, I would love to hear about it. Spill that tea in the comments. Um, I'd love to chat with you about it. That would be awesome. Uh, we can also chat on Twitter or Instagram. I'll put both of those here somewhere. I'm at Lizelle Sambri at both. Um, you can also check me out on my website, lizellesambury.ca, because I'm Canadian. If you want to see more videos like this, um, I'm going to be posting videos every Tuesday about writing and traditional publishing, because that's what I'm pursuing. And so that's kind of where I have the most expertise and feel comfortable talking. So yeah, I'm going to be posting those videos. So hit the subscribe button below, or when I do my end roll, you can click on subscribe there. And yeah, thanks so much. Bye.